And Trade Minister Stephen Chobo has called President Trump's decision to impose tariffs on steel and aluminium imports disappointing. Mr Chobo says the 25% tariff on steel and 10% tariff on aluminium will ultimately lead to a loss of jobs. Only last week the Prime Minister and I had the opportunity to raise this matter directly with the President and other senior members of the Trump administration to indicate that Australia's view is that there should be an exemption for Australian steel and aluminium products. An imposition of a tariff like this uh, will do nothing other than distort trade and ultimately, we believe, will lead to a loss of jobs. Australia's interests in the North American market in both steel and aluminium represent around $274 million for steel and $276 million for aluminium. A blue scope, which has operations on the west coast of the United States, employs around 3,000 people locally in California and Washington state, uh, and their activities would potentially be affected. Now, at this point in time, uh, we don't have clarity from the administration about whether or not an exemption will be in place for Australia and whether or not this will be a unilateral imposition of tariffs across the board. I've put a call through to Secretary Ross, US Commerce Secretary, and have requested for he and I to be able to speak as soon as possible to go through the detail of this announcement.